Hi, YouTube. I just want to have a discussion about a couple of different things, and uh, I'd like to tie it all together. Um, you know, I have been watching some of the um, some of the news footage of the search for the missing Malaysian jetliner, and every now and then they find this uh, debris out in the ocean, and they think that that could possibly be it. You know, how many debris fields have they found? And what it did is it prompted me to go um, start digging around on uh, Google Images, and I typed in a uh, Great Pacific Garbage Patch, and I was shocked at how much uh, garbage is floating around in our oceans. And, uh, you know, I, I do remember seeing a 60 Minutes piece uh, quite, a, quite some time ago, and, and they detailed all of the electronic waste and how it went to, you know, one or two small countries. I, it was like Bangladesh or Bangalore or something like that. And they showed these kids playing on these mountains of garbage, and it, it was just, it was kind of sad. And I, I went to, uh, I, I read an interest, interesting article that kind of piggybacked off that. And what the article asked was, what if everybody on Earth lived like an American? What would we need for resources to, uh, to satisfy that insatiable hunger that Americans have to consume? And uh, the answer that they came up with was that we would need 4.1 Earth's worth of resources just to satisfy uh, demand if everybody on Earth lived like an American. I mean, that was pretty eye-opening, to be honest with you. Um, and I mean, I get it. You know, why do we consume like that? Well, the answer is quite simply because we can. Okay? Uh, that's just, I mean, the way it is. And uh, so we have 5% of the world's population. Um, we use 20% of the Earth's energy. We consume 15% of the meat consumed on Earth. And we produce, and this one, this one was eye-opening, 40% of the world's garbage. Yeah, that was a shocker to me. I want to. I'll link this in the description box. It's actually a pretty good look at it. But what does it mean? What does it mean to us? You know, as as silver and gold buyers. <clears throat> well, what it means is that you know, as more and more people are able to consume like an American, they will. Okay, when you think about China's middle class, for instance. Okay, right now they're around 300 million people. And they project in the near future for that number to literally triple, to get to, eight, to 800 to 900 million people. Three times the amount of people in the United States. So what are these 900 million middle class Chinese citizens going to do? Well, first of all, they're going to store their wealth. Okay, And we know how they do that. They do it with gold and uh, to a lesser degree silver. Okay, But just as important... They're gonna they're gonna demand uh, electronics devices. They're gonna demand vehicles, new homes, all of the things that middle class people desire. Okay, you know I was looking at the um, the world population numbers since '99, and it was staggering how literally uh, Asia has grown more than the rest of the world combined. I mean, and it's not even close. It, it's staggering the population growth in Asia. And so, the, the, you know, the question is simply, you know, what if more and more people on Earth could consume like an American? You know, the, the, the metric that they always use for silver is how many ounces of available above ground silver is there for everybody on Earth? You guys have seen that. I mean, we've all seen that. And, uh, I, you know, who knows? It comes out to like a tenth of an ounce or a quarter of an ounce or, you know, whatever it is, it's less than an ounce. And I, I think that's kind of a false metric because so many people are so dirt poor that, you know, silver will never impact their lives in the least, okay? So the question is more like <clears throat> how many ounces of silver are available to satisfy X amount of people that have reached a minimum uh, uh, of an economic status. So you could almost say lower middle class kind of thing. So suddenly that gives you a more realistic number of the amount of silver that it will take to satisfy the needs of all these middle class people that are consuming like Americans. And I recognize that, you know, even, you know, e even with China's growing middle class, they may not get as piggish as we are. I mean, let's face it. I mean, we're, we're, uh, we're, we're pretty bad. You know, and, and not only that, think about uh, the growth of storage units. Okay, what does that say about our culture? Can you imagine explaining that in another country, you know, to, to some poor kid in Jamaica and going, oh, yeah, yeah. In the United States, they have so much crap that they literally have to pay somebody 
to go to the middle of town or sometimes the middle of nowhere. I mean, some of these storage units pop up in, you know, literally in, in the middle of nowhere. And, uh, and literally just keep all their stuff in these little buildings and they pay for this. You know, it's not, it's valuable enough to keep, but not valuable enough to keep in your home. Hmm. And look, I, I, I recognize that sometimes it's short term, yada, yada, yada. But the simple fact is these storage units are popping up everywhere and a lot of people use them for long term storage. I mean, it, it's 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 insane if you really think about it. I mean, if you if you don't have room for all that stuff, get rid of it. Isn't it amazing how you know we used to live in a one bedroom apartment, and uh, my wife and I kind of chuckle about it. And I, I just can't believe it. there's not a chance. No matter how much space you have, you already always grow into that space. It, it's it's staggering. But regardless, you know, it, it just kind of gets the wheels spinning in my mind and when you think about. If everyone on Earth consumed like an American, it would take 4.1 Earth's worth of resources. So what's going to happen? You know, what, what, what are the kids in China that are poor, you know, that are working right now? And, and some of them are entrepreneurs. You know, when they reach that status, they're going to spend it. They're going to spend their money. They're going to consume. They're going to buy electronic gadgets. They're going to do all the things that we do because we can. So, I mean, that's kind of... How I see things playing out into the future is, you know, you'll need more and more silver. You know, that ratio will, will be uh, shrinking about the, uh, the amount of silver available to satisfy each one of these people because there will be more and more people coming along. So give me your thoughts, guys. And uh, if you get a second, please read this article on uh, what if everybody lived like an American and just kind of give me your thoughts. And, uh, you know, look, I mean, give it to me the other way. Tell me that... Uh, you know, we're actually going to go the other way and kind of deleverage and, and Americans are going to realize that, you know, our piggish ways and, and the uh, economy is going to force our hand to consume less. I mean, who knows? All I know is I, I just don't see it out there. I, I see people falling into the same traps that they've always f fell into. I mean, we've talked about this before. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later.